hello friends in this video i gonna show you how to create a responsive navigation bar which has a logo centered in between their menu items and these menu items itself have a sub menu so you can see that when you hover over these menu items a uh, sub menu is displayed okay and when you resize this browser's viewport you can see that um, the navigation style will be changed to a different layout and it when it hits to about 540 of pixels less than 540 pixels viewport size it will change its layout completely and only you can see that a hamburger icon when you click on this hamburger icon you will be able to see the all the menu items okay and this is all done using html5 and css3 and little bit of javascript to uh, toggle between the classes okay now let's go ahead and jump into our text editor so guys here i am in my text editor sublime text and you can see that i have this basic html5 template here and you can see that there is a meta tag inside this head section this is telling browser about character encoding and second one is the another meta tag which tells the browser to set the just viewport equal to the device viewport size okay and its initial size is equal to 1.0 and the maximum scale when it is pinched or zoom in mobile devices it is set to 2.0 okay and you can also see that i have the header file which is uh, header.css file is linked to this document here so first of all let's create our header section here direct below this body element i'm gonna create a header so i'll write header and inside this header element i'm gonna create a nav element so i'll write nav and inside this nav element i'm gonna create an order list which contains all our link elements okay so in each list there will be a one anchor element which is the menu item list so let's create our another list so first of all i gonna write ul give it a class of nav list and another class nav open and let's apply it an id of nav okay and i gonna go ahead and create list five li element or list items inside this nav uh, inside this ul element so i'll write into five and then inside each list item i'm going to go ahead and create anchor element and give it reference to pound and set its text to let's set its contact and expand this now you can see that we have created our five another lists so let's change each of them i'm going to change this contact here to portfolio and this contact here to services and this one to about now let's go ahead and change this final um, contact which is middle con middle list item to h2 this will contain our lo uh, site logo so i gonna go ahead and give it a class of site title okay and now let's go ahead and create an img element which will contain the actual image so i'll write img give it a source of logo hyphen desktop dot png which is its extension and give it an alt text of smash the sh let's close this element here and now let's apply this item here a class of sub menu or has sub menu because in letter it will contain a sub menu and again this element will also contain a sub menu so i'll write has sub menu now let's go ahead and give this third list item to class of has logo because it is containing the site logo okay now it's done now let's save it and jump into browser hit refresh now you can see that we have this another list here okay now let's jump into a file and here i gonna write an anchor element which contains the site 
hamburger icon which is only displayed when the viewport size is about less than 540 pixels or on mobile devices okay so i gonna go ahead and create an anchor element so i'll write a give it a reference of pound give it a class of toggle menu and inside this i'm gonna write ampersand pound 9776 semicolon and close the anchor tag now this will generate a hamburger icon let's see in browser what i'm talking about hit refresh now you can see that we have the this menu icon here i want this to initially hidden so we'll do this by using css okay 